taking a look at Tainan Dalpra and some matches from the Europeans and the World Championship, and particularly a style of finishing the guard pass he's using, which for lack of a better term, I'm going to call the shoulder lift. So I'm just gonna explain some of the details about this shoulder lift, and then we'll break it down through the actual footage. So the shoulder lift that we're talking about is basically when I take, I get outside the legs, and I'm gonna basically lift this shoulder to essentially turn my opponent's back and secure either the guard pass or the back. Right. So it's obviously, the, the problem you have when you get outside the legs, especially against flexible guard players, is they're framing and they're trying to get their legs back in. Okay, and basically when, when Jacob can keep his shoulders down on the mat, he tends to be able to lift his hips and bring these legs in, okay? And the interesting thing about this pass is it, it tends to work, you don't have to be like all the way inside control, you only just have to be kind of just past the line of the legs, and if you can get underneath this shoulder and lift it, you take their legs out of the equation. So you can see, can you see by, by lifting this shoulder up, the legs can't get back in front of you. No matter how flexible he is from here, there's no way the feet are coming back, and I can either take the back or secure the pass. So the way Tynan's doing it, it seems like he's got two different grips that he's using to uh, work this pass. He's either using a collar grip or a tricep grip. And as we'll see, it does actually, like the way you approach it, it's a little bit different whether you're using the, the tricep or the collar grip. So the first thing is we need to get outside the legs and there's some various ways that we'll see Tynan doing that. A lot of the time it's just like a little shin slice backwards here to get outside the legs. Sometimes he's controlling the leg and coming around to the, to the far side, even jumping over here. And even from things like a cross grip with a lasso, he's able to clear and get out inside the legs into a position like this. So let's get into kind of what's required to lift the shoulder and work from here. I'll first talk about the tricep grip because this is the easy one. The collar grip is actually where it starts to get a little bit different. It gets a bit harder to actually lift. Okay. When I've got this grip high on the tricep, so not at, the, not at the elbow here, but like high on the tricep near the shoulder, basically all you need to do is get your hips behind. I need to get to the point where my hips get underneath my elbow. So I'm dropping my hips here, and you'll see if my elbow comes towards my hips and I bring forward, that's gonna lift Jacob up. Typically, to get there, you only have to be just past the, the legs and some little footwork to get your left leg closer. Stepping high means once this leg steps high, I can drop my hips in and that will uh, force that turn. Where it's a bit different is the collar grip. When I have this collar grip, it's actually hard to lift Jacob's shoulders off the mat. So if you just stay like slightly heavy, if I try and lift here, even if I try and get my hips under, it's very hard to get his shoulders up off the mat. And this is where Tynan does something a little bit different when he has this, this collar grip, which has really changed the way I think about this, this style of finishing the pass. To be able to lift the shoulder up, I need some sort of platform to push off. So if I can get my left hand pressuring down somewhere here, whether it's on the, the ground, on the hip, a frame here. If I can anchor myself off that, so if you keep your shoulders down now, Jacob, when I anchor off that, I can start to lift the shoulder up. Without having this hand anchored, I can't. So the way I would have thought about this before was kind of running around and trying to lift and then get stuck, his feet come in because I can't get the shoulder up. But what you see is Tynan starts to pin the hips as he gets this. As he starts to come around, he's pinning the hips so he can lift and once that shoulder's up off the ground, when my hips come under, I can continue to turn it. All right, so in this first one, Tynan is against Tommy Langaka in the final of the World Championships. And he's actually got a cross grip on Tommy's leg. So his, his left hand here is threaded through onto Tommy's left leg here. And he's eventually going to pass that foot underneath. So here we are. Okay, so he ends up with like both so you see this cross grip still, he's holding the pants and both feet end up on the outside of the body, right? 
from here, as, he's, as he kind of stretches his arm out just to clear the, the legs as much as possible, he's able to get around the corner and you can see as he's done that, he's secured this tricep grip, right? Once he's got the tricep grip, he's gonna wanna step higher up so he has, like, he has a good angle to put some pressure off that leg, driving through the tricep and lifting Tommy's shoulder. So steps, okay, gets around that corner. Okay, and now his hips come in, dropping. See the hips coming towards the elbow. So when those hips drop in, it forces Tommy to turn. Okay, so once more, if you watch those, those hips come in, kind of dropping behind, forces that turn. And there's no way with the shoulder being lifted up like that. You can see Tommy's trying to get his legs back, but it's just not a good angle to do that and he's forced to turtle where there's a back take attempt. All right, so here we're looking at Tynan against Tarek Hopstock. And you'll see Tynan gets around the leg here. I think Tarek recovers and he goes again with that same thing. So he works outside the legs. Okay, so now he's in, it's almost like a leg drag position. Look, you can see in this scenario, Tarek wants to bring that, uh, that far leg here, that high pummel back in over the shoulder. And Tainan manages to get low, tilt Tariq a little to the side, and he's managed to get his grip on the tricep here. All right. Once he has that, he's able to step around, so stepping around towards the, the front. Sometimes he uses like right leg, left leg, right leg, so just to kind of get his, see how he replaced his right leg with his left leg? So that just, that just allows him to to kind of jam in in front of the leg a little bit, in front of the thigh, jams his left leg in now, and now his right leg stepped on that front on angle. So when he brings his hips underneath this tricep grip, it's gonna force Tariq to turn away and give his back. Now, one thing to notice with this is that uh, his, his left arm, just have a watch of his left arm. He, he does put some pressure with that left arm to, to square Tariq up but it's not the same as what we'll see when he actually has the collar grip, which are gonna be the next two clips. So he doesn't have like, he's not like straightening that arm and putting all his weight to lift this up. Just the, the grip alone on the tricep is usually enough. If you can just square your opponent up a little bit, the tricep grip's enough to lift them. In these examples, now another match from the Europeans, you'll see a collar grip, which is gonna be close to the neck, which is going to be used, okay? So you can see here, this grip high on the neck as well. So paying attention to that, pulling in, but you can see the shoulders right now aren't, aren't yet lifted. And this hand, it's even in this first one, it's gonna post on the mat. Whereas in the other one, he'll just tend to push off the hip. But he comes out with this, this sliding knee cut off that reverse de la Hiva. So he slides out and then he leans forward, he even posts on the, he's like leaning forward, posting on the hip and then the mat and that's starting to lift the shoulder up. Once the shoulder's up enough, he needs to get his hips underneath. So by stepping forward, drops his hips. That manages to force that turn and the back take becomes available. Again, later in this match, we're gonna see it from the, the knee shield, gripping onto the top leg. This deep collar grip's actually gonna go a little shallow, shallower, just so he can get it next to the neck. So you can see him changing that grip now, right next to the neck. He slides out of the guard all right, and then from here, this left hand is gonna go back in. And so instead of staying on this leg the whole time, he's gonna start to kind of use that arm more as a post. There you go, see, so he changed that hand to post on the hip so he could actually lift that shoulder up. All right, if you notice that, that key moment in time, the shoulder's down, he's gonna change from holding, watch his left hand, from holding the, the leg to pushing on that hip. And as he does that, it gives him a chance to lift the shoulder up off the ground. There we go. So now he's posting the hip, shoulder lifts, he's stepping around, he steps high enough that his hips can come underneath and that forces the back take. So there you have it, two different methods of getting the shoulder lift from Tainan Dalpra, who seems to have this as a major part of his game. It's certainly something I'll be trying out in training.